going to uh, ask the by standard to call for help and then come back to me for any updates. And if aid is available, please bring the AED. If I have a loan, I'm going to call first for help, which is ambulance, uh, calling the hotline for the ambulance, uh, then come back to the victim. Okay. Once I'm done activating EMS or calling for help, then I'm going to check the pulse and the breathing for 10 seconds. Uh, yeah. So, in your end, it's so final. By the way, I forgot that. Sorry, the video memo. If you notice, it's uh, mobile versus uh, EMR. Okay. It's easy for you to memorize what you can do. But in reality, you can use the procedures in your form. But can you see it? But can for assessment purposes for the memorizing in the internet? Okay. Now, the next one is check pulse and breathing for 10 seconds. So just use, although LLF is no longer uh, recommended, just use the LLF procedure, which is look, look at the chest. Listen to the nose for breathing and feel the counted pulse if there is still pulse. So you have to count for 10 seconds. 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010. So no pulse, no breathing. What do we do? Okay, so I'm going to perform CPR. So for the CPR sequence, it's going to be 30 chest compressions, 2 rescue breaths, Five cycles in two minutes. So I'm going to start with chest compression. I, I'm also, I also make sure that I'm looking at the face of the patient if there is any signs of life. Ready? Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and one. Okay, the nine and one because that is your first cycle. Then check them out first if there's any object. If there is an object, then use my other uh, hand, use the small fingers to scoop the object. But if the mouth is clear, then I'm going to perform head tilt chin lift maneuver to open the airway. Then provide two rescue beds by pinching the nose and opening the mouth, then blow. Then second blow. Okay. If air bounces back, let's just say, no. Uh, uh, assessor will give you a scenario. What if when you blow the air immediately bounces back? What do you do? Stop. Stop. Uh, okay. Usually, my good, when you perform head tilt chin lift maneuver, namago instant says that the airway is not completely open. It's here. So, what do you do if the assessor tells you that the air bounces back? All you have to do is re tilt the head or Return the head to its original position and then perform again the head tilt chin lift maneuver. Then provide blow. Pinch the nose, open the mouth, then blow. Make sure that there will be a rise and fall of the chest. Then blow again. Get senior. Then perform second cycle. Ready? Start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 2. Then after 9 and 2, do not open the mouth for checking the mouth. Just go immediately with head tilt chin lift maneuver of a pitch the nose, then open the mouth, then to rescue uh, rescue bed. Another one. Then continue with the third cycle until Mahuman mo sa five cycles na siya. Gets in you. Now, question is that, what if you will have a child patient? What will be the position of your hands for the child? Only one. Okay, very good. One hand na inyo gamit to na siya. Okay? So, one, two, three, four, five. One hand ang inyo ang gamit to. Another question. What if musiga ang inyong dami? Sa skills is they do have a dami na mo siga. Okay, so make sure na kamaogit mo mo gamit or kamaogit mo mo chest compression sa siya. Okay, do not count too fast, do not count too slow na siya. Dapat ang pacing ninyo is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Kaya sakto kita ang inyong pag counting. Ayaw, pagkali. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ano, ano. Kaya nga naman, kung magpaspas ka, tutukaan nyo niya sa tinuod. Yeah, magpaspas na tayo. Okay, if he may po kay ka, hindi po siya mo green. Our goal is to make sure that green is the 
So kung musiga gani ang inyong dami, good luck na lang ninyo. Okay, kaya naman. Okay. Musulti magiging just dinood kung sa iyo pao din. Diba? Susulti din eh. For example, I have an adult na sampal ang adult is yan. So dapat ang ato ang pacing ano is sakto. So doon ka nag-count na lang. Ready? Start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 1. So dapat green kita. Gets ninyo? Mumu-orange ka rin na siya. For example, dugay kayo na humata or nawag na ang orange. The assessor might ask you to Repeat again the first cycle na siya. Now, uh, one. How about if we have an infant na na patient? How do you do chest compression? So two fingers. Uh. Two fingers. Only the difference. How about the rescue breath? Uh, also, kana sana providing a rescue breath, the BP. Okay. Do you pinch the nose or really? Really. You should also include the nose of the baby when you provide blow or rescue breath. Na siya. Only the kind of difference na nila. Once you are done with uh, uh, five cycles. Then you are going to check the folds and breathing again for 10 seconds. So, that's it. So, what does it one? What does it two? What does it three? What does it four? What does it sapula? What does it ten? Uh, no, uh, positive folds, negative breathing. What do we do? Rescue breath. Uh, Give rescue breath. Okay, provide rescue, rescue breathing. Rescue uh, adult, pila ka rescue breathing ng adult? 24. 24. Oh, 24. 24. 24. 24. 24. Okay, very good. 24. For adult, for child and infant. 40. Okay, 40. What is the count for adult? Five, one thousand. Blow. Uh, blow. One, one, blow. One, blow. One, blow. One, 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 Okay, you have to remember the counting because although the assessor will not ask you to blow, but the assessor will ask you, how do you count and blow for the adult? How about infant? Blow. One. 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 Blow. One thousand one. Blow. One thousand one. Blow. One thousand one. Agree. Sir. Blow. One thousand one. Blow. One thousand one. Blow. One thousand one. Okay. So one. One thousand one. Blow. One. One thousand two. Blow. One. One thousand three. Blow. Until fourteen. Get sinyo? Sige, okay. Blow, blow. Oh my God. Blow, blow. Okay, blow. I have a rescue. So, how about if wala yung pulso, wala yung breathing gapon, what do we do? Continue CPR. Wala yung gapon ng CPR. Okay, get sinyo? Then the assessor will tell you, okay, patient has now positive pulse, positive breathing. What do we do next? Recovery position. Before recovery position. Ay, kanang... Check it. Assessment. So if we hit it, if we pulse but no breathing, rescue breathing. But if positive, the guy pulse and breathing. Perform head to toe assessment. Examinations. Nas yah. Goy na kaniyong mga tigni ako mga. Ana ana kami ani. Ana ana kami bobo. So what do you do during head to toe assessment? Or what are we looking for? Decap. Decap. BTLS. Very good. What will you do? Um, what are you looking for during the head to toe assessment? Okay, so it's decap TLS. You're you're checking for any deformities or common kayo mga fractures, contusions or bruises, abrasions mga samad. Puncture is object ni tusok sa inyo ha. Burns is the paso. Tenderness. What is tenderness? Malkis. When you say tenderness is it's the same with pain, but when you say pain, even if we didn't do anything, we already feel the pain that's here. For tenderness is, you cannot feel pain yet, but if somebody touches or presses that area, then that's the time you will feel the pain, and that is what we call tenderness that's here. Gets me, you? So meaning every time somebody touches your body parts that's here, and if you feel pain, that's tenderness, okay? Laceration, the GC. Okay, sama kita siya. Swelling is? Nubang. Nang? Okay, nang nubang. Okay, 
Another question is that if you're performing CPR, when do you know or uh, when do we stop CPR? If there is a sign the signs of, signs of life, signs of life. Signs of turn over to medics. Okay, turn over to uh, medical services, no? Then operators exhausted. Okay.